Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be checking out my Ben 10 collection. So basically, I'm going to be showing you guys all the Ben 10 stuff that I've been collecting over the years, and there will be a special surprise at the end of the video. So we're going to be kicking things off right now with the Ben 10 Season 3 Reboot Omnitrix. So, I got this thing, like, around the summer of last year of 2019. Yeah, and so, that's that. And the dial can move around like they did in the show. But, I wish they could have made an actual Omnitrix where you do not have these type of straps. They could actually have the actual thing around your whole wrist. But, besides that, let's just see what it does. So, you turn it on, and... It's supposed to light up, but it's a little dark in my room, so I have to flash on my camera. So, let's just see what kind of alien phrases these aliens have. So, right now we have four arms. Let's see what he has to say for us today. Alright, so that's four arms, and next up we have is Heat Blast. Don't worry, everyone. Your world-famous alien hero is here. Heat Blast. Fire it up! Blend royal to perfection. Time for some firepower. Don't worry, everyone. Your world-famous alien hero is here. Alright, next up we have is Stink Fly. Alright, next up we have is Raft. He's one of the action figures in my collection that I do not actually have. Alright, next up we have is Shock Rock. So I'm guessing that's how he got his name. Blue it's shocking how good I am. Alright, next up we have is Accelerate, one of my favorites. Heat Blast is number one because of how cool he looks. No, I didn't, because you're too fast. Next up is Humongosaur. That's another one of the figures I do not have. Don't move, or I'll squash you. You're about to go extinct. Sonic Blast! Time for Humongosaur! Don't move, or I'll squash you. Next up we have is Diamond Head. That's, another, that's the figure I'm going to be buying next. I'm taking a shine to you. Thank you. Eh. Alright, let's do this. Like I said, can't stop Diamond Head. I'm taking a shine to you. Alright, last, uh, second to last alien we have is Slapback. And the last alien is Cannon Bolt. I'm Cannon Bolt. <laughs> Let's play Alien Ping Pong. I'll be the ball. I get it. That's funny. Cannon Bolt coming up. Rock and roll. I'm Cannon Bolt. All right, so that is the Ben 10 Season 3 Omda Tricks. And next up, we're going to be checking out everybody's favorite kid, Benjamin Tennyson. Ben 10. A little 10-year-old kid, one night as he was camping out with his grandpa Max and cousin Gwen on his first day of summer vacation away from school, he discovered an alien watch called the Omnitrix. The Omnitrix is a, is a, is a device to allow Ben to turn into different aliens. Forearms, Heat Blast, Accelerate, Diamond Head, Cannonball, Upgrade, 
Gray Matter, Overflow, Wild Vine, Stinkfly, Shock Rock, Slapback, Wrath, Humongosaur, Jet Ray, Goop, and Way Big. Those are all the aliens that were basically in the whole entire reboot show and Ben 10 vs. the Universe, the movie. So, let's check this guy out. So, he has rotating head, arms, not on this wrist, but you can also move this wrist where the Omnitrix is at. Well, let me show you guys that. Alright, so that is the Omnitrix on Ben's wrist. And the t-shirt looks pretty decent. And the knees, you can move the knees. And the, you can move the sneakers. And you can move the legs. And you can also rotate his hip. And they actually made a Ben 10 vs. the Universe action figure of him wearing his space suit. I'm planning on getting that figure, but I just don't know where it's at. But I saw pictures of it online. So anyway, we're going to be checking out the... We're checking out Ben right now, and next up we're going to be checking out one of the bad guys. So the very first bad guy we're going to be checking out in my collection is Kevin Eleven. So he's basically a copy of Ben 10 because he made his own Omnitrix, which is actually not called the Omnitrix. It's called the Antitrix. That's right. It's spelled A-I... Wait, A N T I. T R I X. So yeah, so Kevin Eleven comes with these accessories. This is the hand that's supposed to represent his copy of forearms, which is bash. I mean, not bash mouth. I mean, quad smack. And this arm is supposed to represent one of his fire alien, which is a copy of heat blast, which is hot shot. Let's just put those right here for now, and let's check out Kevin Eleven's anti-tricks. Alright, so, hold on. So, here is the anti-tricks right there, and it kind of looks accurate, but they could have put more detail into it. And, in Playmates Toys, if you're watching this right now, you'll notice that the anti ant that the anti-tricks logo is facing that way, where it should be facing... Uh, this way. should be facing this way. Alright, so just wanted to point that out. So, Kevin Eleven, you can move his head, his arm, and you can move his elbow. No articulation in both of the wrists. And you can do the same on this arm. And he also has his little keychain thing. Uh, so he can move his, uh, hip or whatever you call that thing and he can also move his uh, leg and his knee joint and like ben he could move his the articulation on the sneakers but for kevin 11 he does not have that and he appears in the reboot of season three episode two then there were 11 so we're going to be checking out ben's aliens then we'll be moving on to one of the aliens that i got for kevin Alright, now we're picking up some action. So, one of the first aliens that I have that appear inside of Ben 10's Omnitrix is Forearms. And, as I explain the aliens, I'm going to be showing you guys their accessories first. So, for Forearms, he comes with these metal chains, which I did not see inside of the TV show when I watched it. So, his articulation, he could move the head sideways, up and down. And I'm only going to be showing you guys the articulation on one arm, which is this arm, because you could do the exact same articulations on each arm if you have this figure. So for forearms, well, let me fix them up a little bit. He can move his wrist, his elbow, and he could also move his whole arm. And there's the Omnitrix symbol right there. And he has really nice abs. Wait, I just realized... In the TV show, he's wearing, Forearms is wearing the classic Ben Tennyson's old t-shirt. If you guys did not notice that. So, anyway, for his legs, he cannot move his torso, but you can move his leg and knee joint. And that's it for Forearms, so we'll be checking out the next alien that pops up on the Omnitrix.
Next up, we're checking out the flame, the human torch, which is one of my number one favorite aliens from the reboot series, Heat Blast. And the only reason why he's my favorite because I like fire because it rep represents from the Lion Guard. It, re it represents Scar. So he Heat Blast is one of my favorite characters because it represents fire. And so Heat Blast comes with two accessories. This accessory that you have to attach onto his arm, which the peg is supposed to go inside the actual arm itself. And this clips all the way around his arm. So the articulation, he can move his wrists, his elbow, his elbow, and his whole arm. Same thing on this arm. He also comes with this fireball thing that you could attach to his uh, other wrist and his face you can move the face around and again there's the omnitrix symbol and for the legs you can move the knee and the whole leg so that's for heat blast and we will check out the next alien Alright, so the next alien we're checking out right now is Accelerate, and Accelerate comes with these uh, three little traffic cones, but we're not going to be showing them right now because they're just plain old traffic cones right here, and he also comes with this wheel thing that can make him go faster, but we'll just take him off right after now because we need to show you guys the articulation on Accelerate, so Accelerate can move his head up and down sideways, and he can move his arm and his elbows and his wrists and he could also move his legs and i just made him all crazy whatnot and there's no articulation in the tail i like the way how they did the fins on his uh back so and he, the feet have no articulation at all but that is uh accelerate and i do not have diamond head so we will not be checking him out but i will get him sooner or eventually but right now we will be checking out the next alien all right so next up we will be checking out is cannonball and for his articulation he can move his arm and his wrist i'm mean, not ricks i mean elbow and that's his detail on his face which is pretty good detail actually and i actually like the classic cannonball a little better because of his amazing detail on his face though and there's the omnitrix symbol and he could also move his legs so that is cannonball and next up we will be checking out another alien that appears in the omnitrix next up on our list is shock rock and he is a fulmini that appeared in season two episode I forgot what episode it was, but I know he premiered in Season 2, which is titled The 11th Alien. So, for his articulation, he can move his head sideways, up and down, just like forearms. And he can move his whole arm and elbows and wrists. And he can move his hip, legs, and knee joint. And I like the way how they included the detail with the green moss around his armor i think that's pretty legit but next alien please next up we're checking out the smallest alien of the bunch which is gray matter and he is a galvin and there's no articulation on him so that's the omnitrix symbol and we will be doing the next alien now all right guys so the final alien that's in ben's omnitrix is stinkfly and stinkfly when he went last time when i took him out of the package you actually have to attach his wings and that took forever so the reason why he has this hook thing because stinkfly comes with a zip line that you can attach right here and you can attach the other one onto the wall right there and you can just pretend that he's flying like he did in the show so his articulation you can move his head there's the omnitrix symbol and you can move his arms, elbows, and his wrists. And he can move the uh, hip right here. And you can move his leg and knees. So that's it for forearms. And we'll check out Kevin's alien, Bashmouth. Alright guys, so the alien that premieres in Kevin's anti-trix is Bashmouth. And he's the 11th alien in his collection. So you can move his head. His arm, his elbows, and note articulation on the hip. And there's his Antitrix logo. And you can move his leg and knee joint. And the, for the claw, 
they actually look pretty decent and for the tail the tail actually came off in the packaging so you do have to attach the tail right here and i like the way how he did the detail on his face so we will check out the final bad guy which is you called it one of the most terrifying warlords in the galaxy vilgax and in case you're wondering Vilgax looks different as an action figure. Well, in the TV show, he actually appears with these marks on his face from another episode from Ben 10 that I saw. So his articulation, you can't move the head, but you can move the arms, elbows, and wrists. And you cannot move his hip, but you can move his leg and knees. And Vilgax actually comes with a little sword right here. And you can put the sword in his back Thing that holds the sword so let me take that out all right so you could just put the sword in his back thing here it carries the sword so and i actually made these scorch marks to look at to look like it's actually from the show because it's all around him so i'm going to be splitting this video into two parts because my phone's about to die so uh, stay tuned for the next episode for my Ben 10 collection, and I will see you in the next episode. In the next episode, we will be opening up of what's inside this box, and I'll give you a sneak peek. That's it for now, and I will see you in the next episode where I show you what's in the box. Bye!